Hello fellas, welcome to a rather sunny Mercia again and uh, outside on the uh, outdoor work desk taking advantage of the sunshine. So uh, yesterday all I did with the trees was just put a polyfiller base on them and that's thoroughly dried so today I've put a bit of sand and gravel on them and I've cut out and glued together the um, the bases for the two A-frame houses. It's all a bit rough and ready, but uh, once we start putting the balsa wood and everything on and, and um, um, thatching, it should look all right. I uh, hope you all had a good VE day yesterday and uh, celebrated it with a bit of contemplation on what it all means. I uh, had a very nice uh, socially distant street party and drunk quite a lot. So, uh, great fun. On top of that, I have a box turned up today from Gripping Beast. Uh, so I'll do a quick unboxing of that. And see if we can do it a little bit easier than I did last time. So It's literally turned up within the last half an hour. Okay, hopefully that will do it. Yep, we're in. So, first things first, let's get rid of that out of the way quick. Uh, thank you from Gripping Beast for my order. Thank you very much Gripping Beast for sending it. So, a uh, bit of static grass in there. from um, foreground, spring static grass, strong tone ink wash, some gamers grass wild tufts, these are more like uh, gorse and what have you, so they look quite good I think. Uh, then I have dark tone ink and then don't know what's in there and then a little bag of minis. So put that to one side and see if I can open this. There we go. So here is the first of the Saxons. I don't know whether you can see those. I just want to focus. But these are armoured early Saxons. One out of the pack. It's always difficult doing this one handed. Oh. Come on, focus. No, there's one who have it, I'm afraid. But yes, they look very, very good. Superb, so that's that one. Then I have some unarmoured warriors. And uh, some um, skirmishers, two with um, bows and three with... Sorry, no, no that's wrong. It's um, one with bow and three with uh, javelins, I think. Then we have the Warband Leader. And you can see that. 
Sorry fellas, this really isn't coming out very well. And then this is Penda. He was the last pagan Anglo-Saxon king. Killed at the Battle of Wynnard in 655. And he comes with um, himself, a standard bearer and horn blower, and a champion. Which is all good stuff. Uh, so yeah, that's where I am at the moment. So I've got enough stuff here to do two small war bands for um, Blood Eagle. And uh, yeah, uh, looking forward to uh, painting these guys up. A lot of chain mail, so it shouldn't take too long. Oh, it just won't have it. No, okay. Sorry about that. Uh, so yeah, hope you're all doing well, guys. And uh, I'll speak to you soon. Cheers, bye.